This free YouTube video is on modern inland navigation for sailors and is presented in cooperation with the Concord Yacht Club and Sailing Center. Our sincere thanks to Elizabeth Speaker for her assistance in arranging and editing this presentation. Welcome to this joint presentation on inland navigation apps for recreational boating use. Captain and mate Farmer have had years of commercial and recreational experience. They raced and cruised the Catalina 25 for 23 years with 14 trophies and are now back to sailing. We each have over 50 years of training and experience to share with you in these free videos based on recreational, commercial, inland, and offshore operations. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Paper lake maps can be used to visualize a longer route inland and to see close towns and so forth along the way. They're not good for actual navigation because they lack the current information that we need. Army Corps of Engineers folio chart books like this one contain much official information. They're used by towboat pilots to supplement their current electronic charts. They're published infrequently and may be unavailable at times. Individual core paper charts can be downloaded in PDF format and printed if you don't need the whole book. Please note that North is not up on many of these charts. Floating river buoys in approximate positions help keep us within the dredge channel with at least nine feet of water. Bay marks have shapes and colors that match can and non buoys. They're in shallow water or on a bank. Crossing marks indicate that the channel crosses to the other side of the river. Inland aids are slightly different from coastal aids and floating buoys do not have numbers or letters. Fixed marks on land or in shallow water have mileage boards to help identify where we are. The blue arrow represents your path upbound between cans and nuns. Cruising guides list things in river mile order to assist in planning. They show locks that may take one hour to transverse or longer when toes have priority. This spreadsheet automatically recalculates the feeding days and times if you get delayed and change the delay minutes. The modern way to navigate inland is with official up-to-date electronic charts with apps. NOAA charts were paper for manual plotting of position for many years. RNC copies are much slower to display on your plotter and require more storage space. Plotting courses on paper charts is still taught and tested by the Navy and the Coast Guard Captain's License. They're taught as a backup to electronic charts. Please note the large amount of text on these charts. These paper charts were used for manual course plotting before electronics. ENCs are much better, but are totally designed for electronic use. Paper ENCs are available and you could plot on them if necessary. These charts provide far more information 
but it's hidden in layers that can be accessed by item pick report. Much clearer for electronic use. You can turn off unneeded data. They can facilitate automatic route problem alarms. They use not as much text even in the display all mode. ENCs are much better, but are totally designed for electronic use. Paper ENCs are available and you could plot on them. Coastal buoy locations are very stable, but inland they must be moved because of depth changes and shoaling. Both ENCs and IENCs for the US are free, but Caribbean electronic charts must be purchased or rented. Many of us have used electronic chart plotters for years. They were designed specifically for use at our helm station and can display other useful data. Good plotters, at least eight inches, are expensive and the available chart cards are expensive and may be out of date when received. Plotters still have a use for us, but better options exist. We use electronic charting systems, ECSs, that are a subset of electronic chart display and information systems. Some ECSs use standard ECDIS symbols. Electronic chart systems, ECSs, is a relatively new type of vessel navigation system and aids in decision making. It continuously gives the vessel position and provides various types of information to navigate more efficiently and warn about many kinds of hazards. Chart symbols may vary from one vendor to another, but are similar and usually recognizable. Official symbols are contained in NOAA Chart 1. There are free charting software applications that can download free current NOAA or ACE charts. OpenCPN is very comprehensive and thus hard for the casual user to master. The sailingtoucan.org river navigation page has an overview of OpenCPN. This Raspberry Pi computer card is only about four by three inches and contains the entire computer, including storage and Wi-Fi. Installing OpenCPN is more difficult with Linux than with Windows. AIS, even receive only on a VHF radio, can let you see larger vessels approaching. It shows their location, course, speed, and name, so you can more easily call for passing arrangements. AIS Class B transceivers using VHF radio frequencies transmit your vessel data about five miles so others can see you. AIS apps can show some vessels that are within range of a transceiver, like a lock, inland. I maintain a transceiver on the riverboat dock, but it uses a subscription service. I use free fine ship and subscription-based vessel tracker. Radar helps in piloting at night and in fog, but it may not show debris which can damage props and so forth. Daylight only cruising is recommended. Cruising is supposed to be enjoyable. And if you don't have time, including possible delays, please stay at home and work on your boat.
Inland Electronic Navigation Charts, IENCs, have many layers of helpful information that can be downloaded and displayed with an object query. These JPG bridge diagrams are also in the folio chart book. Bridge clearance over navigable commercial waterways should be at least 50 or 70 feet. On side channels, you must check very carefully. For power lines, allow another 15 to 20 feet to prevent arcing to your mast. Be sure it's safe to go under a power line, including the required clearance to prevent arcing. A modern, bright, water-resistant tablet with a charting app is less expensive and can download current charts. This is our best current in the navigation option. To use these apps effectively, you need to understand some basic marine navigation definitions. Inland, we use regular statute miles and miles per hour. Be very careful with electronic chart displays. The small upper left display misses many important features like day mark mileage because symbols overlap and some have to be removed. Always zoom in to check and verify a route. Note that the full map data is only revealed when you zoom in. You can do manual route planning, but it's difficult inland because of very crooked rivers. Place the start and end waypoints first. Then insert additional waypoints to avoid obstructions. Shallow water is colored darker. You can check your progress as you pass day marks with their mileage boards. Some apps like OpenCPN can export routes for your plotter. Put the GPX file on a micro SD card and load it into your plotter. With OpenCPN, these route properties can be printed and furnished to friends with a float plan so they will know where you should be and when on longer multi-day cruises. These GPX files contain a lot of information and with OpenCPN, the location accuracy is about one-tenth of an inch. Your GPS is only a good to about plus or minus 10 feet even with the WAAS correction enabled. The Coasties will not accept the float plan like the FAA does with flight plans. Leave it with a trusted friend so they can notify authorities if you're overdue a certain amount past your expected time to destination. Trails can be saved and often converted to known verified routes for later use. Some apps can do automatic routing needed inland. These routes need to be checked very carefully. Some apps can provide additional useful data like comments, wind and weather information. The broadcast notice to mariners includes river levels at dams and expected changes, which indicate the speed of the current. 
The Coasties Local Notice to Mariners can warn about river closures and similar events. Bad weather is the most likely thing to spoil your cruise. Check it often and observe local cloud formations and wind direction changes that may indicate trouble. For fuel, plan one third to get there, one third to get back, and one third for reserve. For inland use, I suggest the best app will include the features listed here. I'm currently surveying 15 apps. Watch sailingtoucan.org for more recommendations and comments on apps. Thanks very much to Elizabeth Speaker for editing and organizing this presentation. We're all interested in promoting safe and enjoyable boating.